Here we will discuss about um, the database schema for messaging applications. Uh, so here we are uh, developing a simple messaging application, uh, which is a message box uh, where you have um, connections and the messages you have received from the connection or you might have initiated the messages. And then when you click on one of these uh, messages, you will have the chat, um, the participants of these messages. So before looking at um, the whole overall uh, database structure, let's first uh, look at how the design will look like and then what kind of information we would need. So in the first screen, as you can see that it's the messages we have right now here. So we'll be calling it an inbox. So the information you can see it here is um, the name of the person who is not you, somebody who is you're chatting with, uh, the profile picture or the avatar of that person, the last uh, message uh, sent on the thread. It may be you who has sent it, or it may be the person you're chatting with and whose turn is this i mean this is something new which i have recently figured out on different chatting apps before it used to be the how many number of messages which is not read on that particular thread uh, but i guess um, if you're starting up your new chat app then um, you just want to make sure that it's minimalistic in terms of firing queries when you get your data from your database so I think this approach is better because then you just have to manage a flag where you have to uh, indicate to the user that it's your turn or it's not your turn. So it's much better in that way. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started with the database design. So first of all, our users table will be a simple um, ID, uh, user UID, first name, last name, and avatar, which is what we can see here. Um, then we have the inbox which will have uh, the inbox uid the last message then we also add user id which will be a foreign key to the table users and id there you go uh, i can also move this up so that you know it is exactly after uh, the inbox um, instead of uh doing um uh, instead of providing the user ids here i was actually thinking to create another table here and call it as inbox participants here we go and then what will happen is it will have an id will be obviously auto increment and we'll have the um, inbox UID which is the foreign key for the table um, inbox and the inbox UID plus um, okay so I can put it here it will be easier and then I'll have um, user ID, which is connected with this particular inbox. And that would be users ID. There you go. So this will become uh, a, a middle um, join table for both of your users and your inbox um, table. Okay, so let's uh, move it like that. So there you go. So we've got a table where you in in uh, introduce the user IDs which are um, communicating inside that thread. And you have the inbox which you have where you have the inbox UID, your last message. Let's have a look. What else you need? You also need the turns. So uh, we can put something like um, um, last sent user id so that will become an integer and then a user id for that user now what how this will help us is if uh, one person has sent um, 
a message we will store the message and the person's user id here and that will indicate the next person or the other person involved in the conversation that it's his or her or any other genders turn who would like to send the message on that inbox uh, thread right inbox uid okay so what else we need so we need um we need another table where we will save all the chats so for example i would go to the table here and then insert another table and th this table will be called as uh messages there you go messages will have um, the inbox uid obviously this will become a uh, foreign key for inbox and inbox uid here Let's save and there we go it's getting a little bit complicated now yeah and then we will have um, user ID which will be the foreign key for user ID who the message is sending and then we will have the message it will be a simple string or text and uh, yeah I think the next would be created at will be the date and time uh, there you go so this is uh, how you will store all of your messages for that particular um, inbox UID thread and then obviously each message is connected with one user so we can pull the user ID or there the message and create it at so let's go back and understand how we will pull back um, information from the APIs. Okay, so let's say for example, if we on the if we are on this screen and we want to pull back all the conversations we are involved in, um, and then all the relevant joins here. So we will hit Messages API endpoint on the server, which will actually go to this um, participants table and then figure out which inbox uids are related to um, our current user id and pull out all those user uh, inboxes from this table so we will join this and this via the inbox uid um, and then obviously the user ID will be connected with this user ID and then all of these messages are made let's say for example uh, five of these uh, or ten of these we are pulling so it will be displayed here and then this information your turn or not will be figured out by the last sent user ID by comparing the current user ID with this user ID and that's pretty much it and then once somebody someone clicks on this particular uh, thread of inbox they will be shown another screen where they will be looking at all the messages for this inbox so basically all the messages from here from this particular inbox where we will have all the messages and the user ids if the user id belongs to the current user obviously we can change the class and then put it in the right and then if it doesn't then we can go on the left we can also pull uh, the user id information from this particular uh, uh, interface for this particular interface and showcase the name of the user who has sent it and this uh, schema will be very beneficial if you have more than two users chatting on the same window because then you can you know um, add as many people as you want in the inbox user id combination here with the participants so here we go this is the simplest way where we could uh, create the database structure and i think i can easily um, create another one here and say um, um, messages here and then potentially this one i will call inbox there you go yeah 
and then this one will call out all the messages and then the later one we will have all um, so this one will bring out all the inbox from inbox participant and the joins inside and this one will bring out all the messages for this one uh, interface so from here so basically in two calls uh, you will have all the information obviously the call will be a little bit complicated in terms of pagination or if you want to implement search etc but yeah this is the simplest way which you can implement the database structure for your um, um, chat app well if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more technical videos cheers thank you